Hi guys, it's David John Jeffrey here. I thought I'd give you a quick tutorial in how to use Skype for business and I'm doing this as quick as I can uh, on the screen. I'm hoping that this will be beneficial to you. Um, the first thing you need to do is go into your calendar on Office 365 and click New Meeting. Don't click New Appointment, New Meeting. And this is to set up the meeting for Skype, okay? Um, now, uh, I'm going to send it to myself because I don't want anyone to receive this appointment, okay? Um, and I need to set it up as a Skype. And this is the thing, yeah? This is your classic problem you get with Skype. It's not on there. Where is it? Options. Options, options. Add-ins. Go. And there it is. That hasn't been ticked. Okay? It disappears. That's how you undo it. Now, ah, that was live. That was good. Okay, Skype meeting. Right. Um, it's now a Skype meeting. Yep, yeah, send. Okay. You haven't sent it yet. It's going to load. It's going to do its thing. It takes a bit of time. There it is. Join Skype meeting. Send. There. Send anyway. Yeah. Sending it to myself. So now I have a Skype meeting. So now there it is. Oops. Join online and it comes up or you can go into the meeting itself and join it. Okay, so now it is loading. Here we go. So start Skype for business. Some of you will get this, some of you will have it automatically go up from your through the company you work for or whatever. But yeah, this is it. There we go, it's on the other side, yeah. So here you get a choice of call me, where you can actually put in a phone number, where it can call you and you can just join it as an audio, or use Skype for Business full audio and video experience. So uh, yeah, here I am, I'm the only one on the call. If there were other people, then you would have their faces up here and it would tell you at the top how many participants there are. Here you can add people, you can invite someone. So if I was to invite Chelsea, for example, it should, uh, there she is, okay? It will look her up on your address book, whatever you've got set up in your exchange. So you can invite more people, you can participate actions, so you can choose different things here, everyone as an attendee, or mute the audience while you present, you know, or you, you have no attendee video, which means they don't, they don't show your video. If you want to turn your video on, you press the video button and it will automatically start the video, okay? But it won't do it for me because I am right now on the video and it's going to get confused. Um, this, you get an option to mute yourself so you can have a conversation with someone while listening into the call. This will hang up you away from the call. And this little button here just helps you to put it on hold and things like that if you're dialing in. But you don't normally touch that. The big button that counts is this one here which is what brings up the conversation. So you, I could actually talk to everybody in the room that way. OK, you got all your usual smileys and emojis and everything like that. And you can also attach a document here. OK. Now, right. So now that's gone. Right. So if I now share content, I got a choice. I can share my desktop, which is great. OK. And also, if you share your desktop, I'll just show you this for a second. Now I'm sharing everything that's inside this yellow band okay at the top i get to stop sharing i can unpin it so i can move it around also um here i get an option to give control to somebody else so if somebody else was in here it would list their names and you can give them control that's quite cool stop sharing okay and when you stop sharing it comes up with usually a box but because it's only me here it's probably not showing it but if, if i was receiving it then it will show me a box and you just click in the button in the middle to clear it. Now, share a window. This is brilliant. You can choose which window that you've got open you want to share. So if I want to share that, for example, it shows me on here that this is what I'm sharing. Okay, it's on the screen and it's connecting to it. And it's everything in the orange band that's being shared. Okay, so you can choose what's shared and what's not shared. So that's pretty good. 
so I'll stop sharing that now. Another thing you can do, share PowerPoint files so you can share a presentation and show it to everybody. You can add an attachment, there's a more one here, right, so you get a whiteboard, okay. If you've got a touch screen, this is extremely useful. So this is your whiteboard that now everybody is looking at. You can draw on it, and you, oh, that's writing text, so you can write text. Um, oh, press the wrong button there. Okay, so you can draw on it, there we go, so they can see that. You've got a highlight option, yeah, rub out bits, there you go. Okay, arrow stamps. Yeah, bom, bom, bom. Okay, lines, any colour you like. You can change the colour of the highlight, of course, if you wanted. Okay, add a picture from your file, so it will load your pictures. Pictures. What do I got on here? Let's take that one. Pictures. There we go. Okay. So there we go. So if I want to insert that picture there. It inserts it there. Okay. And you can still write over it, do whatever you want. It's just a picture. Okay. Um, so get out of that. Stop sharing. Okay. Hide stage. That's what I was talking about, where you can click it off to get back to where you were. Right, uh, another one, a poll. That's really interesting. You could type a question. You could say, how many spots? Just typing anything now. Oh, spots. Okay. Spots. There we go. And you could say, one, two, three, or four. Create. And then everybody who is on your call can put in their action and send it off. Okay? And each person that puts in an action, it counts those actions, and it will it will do. And you can, if you had a big crowded audience, it would be great, you know, for sharing. Okay, everything that you share gets emailed to you, which is brilliant, um, unless your your uh, company you've worked for has turned off this function at the end of the call, the instant message that gets also sent to you on an email. Okay. Um, yeah, so you've got attachments, you can send them files, you can, uh, if I want to send a file, for example, I'll just show you how easy it is, sending a file, so let's send that one, and yeah, so it says to me, uh, yeah, okay, showing me all the presentable content I've got right now and what I've done, and it, you know, these are things that people can download, they can rename it if they want, if it's theirs, you can lock it, so you choose who actually can download it and who can't yeah um so you don't have to and and then you got you can share it or unshare it depending on what you want to do so that's it in a nutshell if you can't hear anyone could be because the connection's rubbish if you can't hear them it could be because you might not be able to hear people people might not be able to hear you because you've got the mute button on and usually when you first start the video and the mute is off so make sure that this looks like this <coughs> and this start video yeah even though it's like that it doesn't mean you're on the video so it's really important that you click start my video okay that's it really that's it in a nutshell i hope you've enjoyed the session